So if you find yourself completing a Form SEIS 1 compliance statement to get the tax certificate for your investors, you need to fill out the form online with HMRC. And uh, just to let you know, give you a heads up, you'll get to a section about the investors where you need to upload a spreadsheet. So have this ready before you get into it. Otherwise, you have to save, go out, and all that because you've got to go away and do this. But they're quite prescriptive in the way they want it to be done. Uh, so they want it in Excel format, and they're saying you need to upload a document with the full name, address, and amount of all proposed investors. Provide details of all investors who have requested a form SCS3. Okay. So here you've got to go, the name should be in alphabetical order. Show, show surnames first. So there's a good example there, Smith, John. Uh, postcode, full address, number of shares issued to them, the amount paid for the subscription in pounds. Figures must match what you've entered in number of investors and total amount paid by those investors. That's the previous section. And they give you an example here of how they want it to look. So sort of Jones, Elizabeth, you see the, the names uh, kind of reversed. And um, then postcode, then address, number of shares, amount invested. So that's what you need to do. Kind of take a screenshot of that because that's what you're going to need to do for your uh, particular form when you set it up. So I recommend you do it in advance and you've got it all ready to go when it comes to the time when you fill this form out. Hope that's useful. Thanks for watching.